What's going on everyone and welcome back to the Bitter Footy YouTube channel. In today's video we're going to be having a look at my round 12 AFL tips. Now before we do that let's take a look and see at how I did back in round 11. Okay back in round 11 I got a total of four out of nine tips so it was a pretty average round for myself. But as you can see, there was a few upsets, especially on the Saturday. I like, look at how I did on the Saturday. I, I only got one tip correct on the Saturday, being Essendon um, over West Coast. And then on Sunday, I got two tips correct and only one tip incorrect. Um, but yeah, it was a tough round for tipping. Um, yeah, if you tip the upsets, uh, congratulations to yourself. Um, but yeah, that, that's uh, how I did back in round 11. Having a look at my own tipping competition, I'm currently in 14th spot out of 34 people. So it's not too bad. I'm about in the middle of everyone and I'm on a total of uh, 65 points. In top spot in my own tipping competition is Kev's Magpies who's on a total of 73 points and got a total of six out of nine tips last round. So fair play to Kev. But without further ado, let's run through my round 12 AFL tips. All right, kicking off round 12, we've got a big Friday night clash between Melbourne and Carlton at the MCG. Uh, Melbourne are coming off that loss against the Dockers, while the Blues, they're coming off another loss, their fourth loss in a row, and it was to the hands of the Sydney Swans last round. Um, yeah, I have tipped the Ds to beat the uh, Blues in this game by a margin of 13 points. Normally, the Blues play a good game against the Ds, and the Ds, you know... I don't know, they haven't been playing their best footy at the moment. I mean, they've still been playing some pretty good footy and they still challenged uh, the, the Dockers last weekend or last round. Um, but yeah, they're not playing their 100% best footy. Um, but yeah, I still think they'll be good enough to beat the Blues in this game. The Blues are just in a bit of a, you know, they're just in a bit of a rough patch at the moment and they're just not finding the results that they would like to at the moment. Um, yeah, like I said, they've lost four games in a row now. So yeah, they're in a rough patch at the moment. And yeah, I don't think they're going to be able to beat the Ds. I think the Ds are just going to be too good. And yeah, the Ds will get back into the winner's circle against the Blues. So yeah, I've got the Ds to beat the Blues by a margin of 13 points. All right, next game, we move on to the Saturday games. We have got the Power taking on the Hawks. The Power are coming off that win against the Tigers, while the Hawks are coming off that pretty good win against the Saints, shall I say. I mean, what a win from the Hawks last round. I mean, it was a terrific win from them. Um, from them. They looked, you know, out of that game against the Saints, but then they came back in it and ended up winning by a margin of 10 points. So props to the Hawks um, for that result against the Saints. But I don't think they'll be able to do the same against the raging Port Adelaide at the moment. They are playing some terrific footy. The Port Adelaide Power, they beat the Tigers at the MCG as well, which hasn't been a happy hunting ground for the Power, um, you know, in recent uh, trips to the G. Uh, yeah, so... You know, the power, they're playing some terrific footy, and I think they'll be too good for the Hawks in this game. So I've dipped the power to get the job done over Hawthorne. I do hope the Hawks are competitive in this game, um, like they were against the Saints, you know, and, you know, they ended up getting the job done against the Saints. So yeah, I do hope they show that level of competitiveness that, you know, helped them get the job done over St. Kilda. But still, I don't think they'll be good enough to beat the Power, who are playing some, like I said, a lot of times already, some terrific footy at the moment. Next up, we've got the Eagles taking on My Pies at Optus Stadium. The Eagles are coming off that loss to the Bombers, while My Pies are coming off a win against North Melbourne. Uh, yeah, you know, the Eagles, they played some okay footy against the Bombers. I know they still got done by, you know, 50 points or more, but, you know, they they looked okay. They didn't look as terrible as they've looked 
in you know previous weeks so you know props to the Eagles for playing some okay footy last week against the Bombers but yeah my pies you know they're 10 and 1 at the moment they beat the Ruse by 35 points and I will say, you know, my pies, they didn't play their best, you know, footy against North Melbourne last week. Um, so, you know, if if my pies can play their best footy, I think, you know, they can beat the Eagles by a big margin. But, you know, knowing every team, they normally play pretty well against Collingwood. You know, every team just seems to play half decent against Collingwood. And, you know, I'm guessing the Eagles will play half decent against Collingwood as well. But still, I think my pies are going to be good enough to get the job done um, hopefully by a decent margin as well so I'm going to be tipping my pies to get the job done over the Eagles in Perth and make it 11 wins and one loss come on the pies next up we've got the dogs taking on the cats at Marvel Stadium in a very interesting game both teams are coming off losses last round the dogs um, coming off that loss against the Suns and the Cats surprisingly coming off that loss against the Giants um, you know you can make a lot of excuses for the Cats loss because you know they had a lot of players out but you know they still had some decent players in the Cats and they still couldn't get the job done over the Giants at Cadinia Park and I, I don't know what it is though you know I heard like you know the Giants have now won their last three trips against the Cats down at Cadinia Park so it could just be a you know the, the Giants are a bogey side against the Cats and that's all that that it was um, but yeah I don't know this one is a tough game to tip but you know at Marvel Stadium the dogs seem to play pretty well at Marvel Stadium and I think they're gonna cause I guess you could say a little bit of an upset against the Cats here um, so yeah I'm gonna be tipping the dogs over Geelong in this game at Marvel Stadium I don't know what it is but yeah I, I just have a feeling the dogs can get it done I feel like the dogs uh, will come out with a lot of energy and you know will want to you know get back from losing that game against the Suns last week which you know in their minds they probably shouldn't have lost uh, that game so yeah I, I think the dogs will you know come out firing against the cats in this game and get the job done so yeah I'm tipping the dogs over the cats in this one next up we've got the Suns taking on the Crows at TIO Stadium in Darwin the Suns are coming off that win against the dogs while the Crows are coming off that very good win against the Lions last round uh, yeah what a win it was for the Crows last round against the Lions you know um, it was a tough opposition for them the Crows but yeah they managed to get the job done in that game against a good opponent in the Lions and I do think the Crows are going to beat the Suns in this game I know it's in Darwin so it's sort of neutral territory well not really neutral anymore for the Suns you know because they played their last round but it's a neutral ground it's not anyone's home ground uh this one in that way so yeah but you know i still think the crows are going to get the job done in this game they're playing some you know pretty decent footy at the moment the crows i mean you know the suns are coming off that win against the dogs and it was at the same ground um as this one is being played at uh, but yeah I, I don't think the suns will be able to beat the crows in this game i do think it's going to be a very highly competitive matchup this one and the fact that it's in Darwin, I feel like, you know, anything could happen in this game. Uh, but yeah, I do think going off form and going off, you know, who's playing the better footy at the moment, I think I'm going to be tipping, well, I think, you know, the Crows are going to be able to get the job done in this game. So I've tipped the Crows to get the job done in this game over the Suns. Next up, we've got the first of two Sunday games. This one being between the Giants and the Tigers. The Giants are coming off that very impressive win against the Cats down at Cadenia Park last round. Well, the Tigers, they're coming off a, you know, a very competitive loss, I will say, against the uh, Power. I'm saying that because, you know, the Tigers were very competitive, uh, but they just couldn't get the job done against the Power last round. 
But yeah, I'm going to be tipping the Giants in this one against the Tigers at Giants Stadium. Yeah, I was very impressed um, with how the Giants played last round against the Cats, especially at Cadenia Park. But, you know, they seem to, like, you know, have the uh, wood over Geelong at Cadenia Park. But yeah, it was still a very impressive uh, win from the Giants, no doubt. I thought Lockie Whitfield, you know, he was getting back to his best last round. And Toby Green, what a machine he is. He played a ripper in game 200. But yeah, I think the Giants, you know, they were very impressive last round. I, I know I said it again, but they were. Um, but yeah, I think they'll be too good for the Tigers in this one. So yeah, I'm backing in the Giants to beat the Tigers in this one at Giants. Stadium and lastly we've got Essendon taking on North Melbourne at Marvel Stadium um, Essendon are coming off that big win against the Eagles while North Melbourne are coming off that loss against my pies yeah I'm gonna be tipping the Bombers to get the job done in this game over North Melbourne I think they're gonna you know take a lot of confidence from that big win against the Eagles in Perth and they're gonna bring that confidence into this game and be able to beat North Melbourne. I think North Melbourne will be, you know, a little bit competitive in this game. I mean, they played half decent against us, especially in that last quarter against us last round. So, you know, if North Melbourne could be, you know, competitive as they were in that last quarter against us last round, you never know uh, what the result could be. But, you know, the Bombers, they're playing some decent footy at the moment. Um, you know, their form has been very good. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be backing in the Bombers to beat the Roos in this one at Marvel Stadium. And there it is. Those are all my tips for round 12 done and dusted. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Let me know your guys' tips in the comments below. And uh, yeah, I will be streaming the Eagles versus Pies game on this Saturday. So hopefully you guys can join me for that stream. And uh, yeah, cheers guys for watching and I'll catch you guys later. Cheers.